The MDSR SA is a multifunctional graphic user interface that not only adds a real-time spectrum analyzer to the MDSR software package, but also displays the current state, frequency, and mode. <clears throat> the MDSR SA CAT 2.1 integrates the OmniRig Universal CAT control for 48 different transceivers. It was designed to let the user select and configure the look of the spectrum window and has additional feature features like memory frequencies, audio recording, and a profile manager. This software greatly enhances the functionality of any transceiver. The spectrum analyzer and multi-display work together with the MDSR synthesizer modulator demodulator and provides a complete shortwave radio backend for the lift converter unit. All the audio processing and the transceiver control are done in software. Since it integrates into an existing computer and radio, it is very cost effective. Here is a functional description of the features of the MDSR SA. The run pause button allows the spectrum analyzer to be stopped. If the processing time is needed to run other applications, the spectrum analyzer can be paused without having to close it. The Record Start Stop button records the audio from the sound card and stores it in a file that is date and time stamped. With the Disk button, the Utility menu is selected and has the following available selections. Open Play Recordings opens up a window that lets the user see and select recorded audio files. In this utility, the user can also delete, rename, and select an option to key the transceiver while the audio is playing. The Profile Manager allows the current setup and the CAT configuration to be backed up. The Profile Manager can also be used to store multiple configuration files in case more than one transceiver is used as a transverter. Browse Bitmaps is used to view store, stored images of the spectrum display that have been saved by pressing the F2 key. Pressing F5 will copy the display onto the clipboard for use in other applications. Pressing F11 will run the MVSR engine, and pressing F12 will stop it. This feature can only be used if the automation settings are all unselected. We will get back to this feature later. The manual describes in detail how the SA works and all the possible setup functions, including CAT setup with OmniRig. The file is in PDF format, and therefore, a PDF reader needs to be installed on the computer to view it. The manual and installation instructions for the MDSR software are also included in PDF format. Please refer to these documents for further instruction on how to use and set up the MDSR engine. The multifunction toolbar provides all the information needed to operate the transceiver from the computer display. The current frequency is, is displayed on the left side, and clicking on this field will open up the memory frequencies for each band. Clicking on each band selection will set the radio to the frequency that has been configured in the setup predefined frequency window. It is also possible to type in a frequency and send it to the transceiver via CAT control. The setup rig selection will bring up the user interface for the Omni rig setup. We will get to that later. In the current radio state window, the real-time RX-TX state of the radio are displayed. Even if the PTT is pressed on the radio, it will show that the radio state has changed. The current mode window displays the mode of the MDSR. Depending on the LO and the setting of the MDSR, the transceiver's mode is set to a mode permanently and the selection of the demodulation is set by the MDSR. This is referred to as the transverter mode. Only when the auto setup in the MDSR is set to lock to TXCR, the mode of the radio and the MDSR are locked together. More on that later. In the current cursor frequency window, the real frequency of the cursor position is displayed, and by left-clicking, 
the VFO in the transceiver is updated. This can be used to select the carrier and to center it. The delta offset window gives the frequency offset reference to the VFO frequency from the current cursor position. The dominant frequency display shows the highest peak of the current spectrum. Left clicking on it will update the VFO in the transceiver. There are several different options to set the spectrum. One option is the waterfall, and it is used to help with the demodulation of the digital signals like PSK. Pressing the spectrum or waterfall selection button will change the spectrum display accordingly. Selecting the wrench button will bring up the configuration menu of the MDSRSA. The first menu, Set TRX Frequency, allows preset memory frequencies to be configured. This is the same as in the utility menu. In the automation setting, the behavior of the MDSRSA and the MDSR can be defined. As default, all the functions are selected. This makes the MDSR audio engine and the MDSR SA work in unison, and they will act like a single program. By deselecting all or some of the functions, the MDSR and the MDSR SA can be split apart and run separately. The spectrum mode selects the way the window displays the spectrum and what information is displayed therein. In the normal mode, the MDSRSA operates as a standalone spectrum analyzer. No BFO or bandpass information is displayed. In the full spectrum mode, the BFO location and the bandpass are displayed to allow for easier tuning. In the zoomed spectrum mode, the displayed bandwidth, bandwidth is lowered to plus or minus 6 kHz. The spectrum bar selection will let the user select the spectrum display mode, which can either be as bars or as a line. There is also a selection to display an oscillograph of the incoming list IF. Checking this option will display an additional line, the time domain input of the audio card. The Remember Screen Size option will remember the last size when the MDSRSA starts up. Sizing of the MDSRSA is limited. The Absolute Grid Label selection specifies the label option of the individual grid components. The domain frequency is only displayed in the multi in the multifunction bar when this selection is checked. Customizing the display to suit anybody's preferences. In the calibration and customization window, the MDSR can be fine-tuned. A detailed description of all the functions and settings can be found in the MDSR manual. Be sure to know what the last setting was before making any changes. If changing the parameter has the opposite effect than intended, the old settings can be reinstated. If anything else fails, the default MDSRSA settings can be restored by pressing the Total Reset to Default button. Slide bar on the right-hand side of the MDSRSA controls the amplitude of the, of the display spectrum. This concludes you very much for watching this video, and the MDSR team would appreciate it if you could tell your friends about this great software development. If you would like to contribute and work on the MDSR project, Please visit the MDSR Yahoo user group and sign up as a member. Thanks again.